With the Microsoft Outlook integration, you can configure your Glide apps to send emails directly through your Outlook account or add events to your Outlook calendar. To start using the integration, you first need to add it to your project. In Glide, click the settings icon in the upper right corner, click the integrations tab, and then select Outlook, and then add to app. This will prompt you to sign into your Microsoft account, and once you've granted Glide access, you can start configuring the integration. The Outlook integration has two features, the send email with Outlook action and the add event to Outlook calendar action. Each of these can be added inside of a component that supports actions or added to an action sequence in the action editor. The send email with Outlook action allows you to send an email from your Outlook account. The configuration for this action includes five options. The to field, which is the recipient of the email, this is required. The CC and BCC fields, which aren't required. The subject of your email, this is a required field. And then the body of your email, which is also a required field. Now, these can be custom values that you put in here, which will be the same each time, or they can be dynamic values which are connected to your data. You can even create a more dynamic message by first creating a template column in the data editor and then setting that column as your message. The add event to Outlook calendar action has seven fields in its configuration, although only two of these are required. The required fields are the event title, which is the name of your event, and then the start date. This must have both a date and time and be formatted correctly. So the best way to do this is to create a date time column in the data editor and then select that as the field in the actions configuration. The other fields are the location and description. These aren't required. And then the duration in minutes. This can just be a number column here. The attendees, which can be a comma separated list of emails and then the calendar ID. Now, by default, the event will be added to your main calendar, but if you want to override this, you can add another calendar's ID here. And if you do that, the action will add the event to that calendar. To learn more generally about integrations in Glide, including how they affect your app's usage, check out our introduction to integrations over at glideapps.com learn.